ecosystems video. In fact, this is the first one in the ecosystems topic. And in this one, we're looking at the dependence on other organisms. Well, let's think first of all, what do you mean by the term ecosystem? Well, an ecosystem by definition is all the living organisms in an area and their environment. So here we've got here a coral reef ecosystem. So we've got the coral itself, which is a living organism, and surrounding it you've got um, all the other fish living in the ocean. So an ecosystem is all living organisms in an area and their environment. Now we talked about them being dependent, dependence on other organisms. Well, the organisms in an ecosystem need each other to survive. They're what we call interdependent. Inter means between. They so they pretend depend upon each other. Let's go back a second. So in a grassland you've got, for example, rabbits eating the grass, voles eating the grass, and then foxes eat the rabbits and the voles. They are dependent on them. Rabbits and voles depend on the grass. Foxes are dependent on rabbits and voles. So everything is dependent on each other. They're interdependent. Now, at a very basic level, almost all organisms, we're talking about almost all, depend on plants. So why? Well, the reason the plants are so important to us is they trap energy from the sun. Now virtually all the energy on Earth comes from the sun. And plants use this energy to make food. You may have come across this term before, it's called photosynthesis. So photosynthesis is something we're going to come across over and over again. And it's given by this equation. So in photosynthesis we've got carbon dioxide combines with water to make glucose plus oxygen. So carbon dioxide plus water gives glucose plus oxygen. Now we're going to be looking at this in much more detail in later videos. But what happens here is that glucose is stored as starch or proteins and the energy in these organic molecules. So glucose and starch what we call organic molecules and that energy is passed on to animals whenever they eat plants. So looking at a simple food web, here we've got the sun's energy is trapped by plants in photosynthesis. Rabbits eat them, consuming that energy, and the rabbits in turn are eaten by the fox. So you can see here the sun's energy passes through this, what we call a food chain, and how the sun's energy is so important to life on Earth. Now, only plants, algae, now algae are your seaweeds, and some bacteria are able to photosynthesize. So you can see now why plants are so important and how we depend upon them. It's all to do what we call the balance of life. Now let's just recap on photosynthesis. So in photosynthesis, carbon dioxide gas is converted into oxygen. Now only plants can do this. Now there's another reaction that all organisms do, and that's called respiration. Now in respiration, oxygen is converted to carbon dioxide. Now can you see the link between these two? This one takes carbon dioxide, converts it to oxygen. This one uses the oxygen and converts it to carbon dioxide. This is all to do with the balance of life and we'll come on to this topic about the balance between photosynthesis and respiration in a later video. But as well as us depending on plants, plants also depend on insects and also um, birds for example, but insects as bees, moths and butterflies, they depend upon them to pollinate. Many plants depend on insects as bees, moths and butterflies to pollinate them and in fact Okay, without insects to pollinate them, many plants would struggle to reproduce, and this would affect all other organisms. In fact, we said that insects are important for pollination, where some birds carry out pollination, but also when it comes to seed dispersal, the animals disperse the seeds for plants, so everything is interdependent. So to summarize, the organisms in an ecosystem are what we call interdependent. They need each other to survive, and they can't survive without each other. So, two key words. Now, an ecosystem is a community of animals, plants, and microorganisms together with a habitat where they live. And photosynthesis is a chemical process used by plants and algae to make glucose and oxygen from carbon dioxide and water using light energy. So, there are two very important keywords there to copy down into your vocabulary sheet.
Well, that's the end of this Keys Days 3 Science video. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really do hope you like what you see. And if you do like what you see, why not visit my website at www.keystage3sciencecourses.com. There you'll find over 120 science videos you can subscribe to. So, once again, thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.